Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Lavnya. I'm a senior consultant in Cloud9, practicing obstetrics and gynecology. I also do fertility and I'm a minimal invasive surgeon. That is, I do laparoscopy and robotic surgeries as well. Endometriosis is nothing but this is a collection of blood inside your ovaries is called as endometriosis. It also means that the endometrial glands are supposed to be only in your uterine cavity. But then if these glands are present anywhere outside in the cavity, it could be sometimes on the tubal deposit, it can be on the peritoneum, it can be inside your ovaries. All these things causes endometriosis. Of course, the cause of endometriosis per se is not known. Sometimes it can be immunological, sometimes it can be genetic. All these things are a predisposition factor for endometriosis. If you've been diagnosed to have endometriosis, what do we do? Early diagnosis is a must. Doesn't mean that you have endometriosis, you need to go for a surgery. Certainly, if you have severe pain or it is causing a tubal addition or there is a problem with the tube because of endometriosis, what happens? The tubes can be stuck to each other and that itself can be a cause for infertility. Sometimes when the endometriosis is in the ovary, we call it as an endometrioma. If it is very big, more than 4-5 centimeters and then you're not able to conceive, then you'll have to go through a surgery of removal of the cyst. And these can be operated either through a laparoscopy, robotic surgery or open method. But doing a minimal invasive surgery will be the best modality of treatment of all these things. Whenever people do have endometriosis, it is very important to be very diligent with the surgeries as well because it can reduce your ovarian reserve as well. So checking on the ovarian reserve previous to surgery will definitely be helpful. And getting your surgery done from a qualified doctor is also important because they know where to stop and when to stop and whom to operate. So endometriosis can sometimes be devastating because they are going to end up having severe pain. It can actually even disturb the sexual harmony. So that means endometriosis can be even in the vagina. Getting yourself treated and seeking the doctor's help is very important.